From food access to mental health services to sports opportunities, educational opportunities, all these things can pro like prohibit a youth or a young or any person from being successful. So uh, not just my role as unlimited potential, but being somebody that oversees the rec center is really to implement these opportunities in this in this this space that we call a hub to give them a fighting chance to know that these things are at their disposal. They are are available. Mental health, that's the main thing. Mental health. I think that we do a lot. We cater to a lot of opportunities. We cater to a lot of solutions. We cater to a lot of a lot of everything. But at the end of the day is for them to be able to shift their own perspective, shift their own mind, take control of their own narrative, and realize that they have all the survival skills to be who they truly need to be. We're helping parents, we're helping families create like small businesses. We're helping people realize that the skill set, like I said, that they already have, what they've been surviving on, are viable, are useful, and the world can benefit from their skills. So from not just working with kids, but working with families, we're always looking to cater to their needs, always looking to put them in a position to be the best parents or the best family guardian of their kids' lives, because we know it's a ripple effect by working with the families. We know that we can motivate the kids, but they still gotta go home to that, to that household. So in order to really make that household a whole thing, we gotta make sure that we're doing our due diligence with the families, with the people that's around in the families, and really just like that little saying that like you said back in the day, it take a, it take a village to, uh, to really like cater to a youth, but it take a community to care about community, and that's what we're trying to build here.